So it's time again for me to start working on the next series of videos that I'm going to be doing for my YouTube channel. And as always, my patrons from Patreon uh, get to vote on the next topic. So here are the three topics that you can vote on if you're one of the patrons in that reward category. Uh, one would be Babylon JS tutorials. Two would be advanced Android command line tutorial. Or three, picking apart binary files. So a little more information on each of those. Uh, Babylon JS is a WebGL HTML5 framework for doing 3D gaming and other 3D stuff. Uh, I know that in the past I've done a lot of 3JS tutorials. It's similar to that. Both have their ups and downs, um, but I've been working a lot with Babylon JS. I had done a lot of basic 3JS tutorials and never really got to the advanced stuff, uh, but I thought with the Babylon JS tutorials I'd go through the basics real quick and then jump into some, maybe some more advanced stuff and maybe go into a little bit of game design with it. So that's option number one. Option number two, advanced Android command line tutorials. Now, you know, there's lots of Android tutorials out there, but most of them are, oh, this is how you install a program, this is how you go into a config, figure settings for whatever, stupid stuff that you shouldn't need tutorials for, you should just be able to figure out on your own. Anyway, I want to show you how to get into the shell on a rooted Android device and do some advanced stuff. Um, so this tutor these tutorials would assume that you already know the basics of Android, that uh, your device is probably already rooted. I'm not going to go over how to root a device. Uh, it's a fairly simple process for most devices, uh, and it might be slightly different for most devices, so I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to root your device, but uh, how to just get into the system, where some things are, all from the uh, shell of Android. So it's going to be more of a Linux type tutorial for Android, uh, doing some fun and neat stuff just so you can learn a little bit more about how it works. Uh, and of course, the third option is picking apart binary files. Um, what this tutorial series would uh, look at is, you know, basic, basic, just simple techniques I've picked up over the years of taking binary executables or just binary data and picking through and pulling out interesting information from them, whether it be uh, an executable binary that you want to maybe look a little bit and not really backward engineer, but maybe a little bit backwards engineer and see a little bit more of what it's doing, how you would do that, uh, or maybe, you know, taking binary packets you sniffed off a network and, you know, how to look at that uh, with a little more advanced stuff, you know. So uh, I would say uh, both the Android and the binary picking apart tutorials would definitely be for more people who are really comfortable with command line and looking to work with stuff that might be considered a little more advanced. Where the Babylon JS is again 3D gaming stuff that uh, is actually really really simple, and we'll get into some very basic stuff with that. Um, and if we if the Babylon JS tutorials are chosen, it'll probably be a little bit longer of a series than the other two, um, where I'll go over the basics real quick, and then again get into some basic uh, you know gaming you know basics of first person shooting as. If you've been following my videos, you know I've been working on Metal Bullets, a first-person shooter that I've been designing in Babylon JS, and I'll go over some of the basic techniques that I've come up with and learned um, just from working on that project. So, if you're one of my patrons that are in the category that are able to vote, uh, you should have already received a link for voting. Go ahead and do that now, and the rest of you, you know. Um, think about becoming a patron of mine over at patreon.com. That's patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There should be a link in the description. And if you enjoy my videos, my tutorials, uh, and want to help support me, that's one way of doing it. It also allows you to have a little more input and also get your videos early, ad-free, and in a downloadable format, as well as some other rewards. Um, and again, there's certain uh, rewards that you're allowed to vote. All of my Patreons are allowed to contact me through Patreon, Patreon and give me suggestions on what they like to see. Just because you suggest something doesn't mean that I'll be able to do it because I don't know how to do everything. And, you know, and so if it's something I know how to do, and then I'll most likely, if you ask and you're one of my patrons, of course you're supporting me, I'm going to do whatever I can to, to get to you what you want to see. 
So if you want a little more input on what I do and a little more interaction with me, consider becoming one of my patrons over at Patreon. And as always, I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Mirrored servers. So even though you have that original server, you may have another server here and here that you can download from. And that still allows you to do that too. You have the same file on multiple servers. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's all right. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.